is NBC Connecticut Today at 4.30. And we are live at Crystal Rock Bottled Water in Watertown. And the water is bottled here locally, and it's also from a local source up in Litchfield. We'll take you inside the bottling facility coming up in a live report. Stay with us. It is 516, and you don't have to go, Brad, to the Colorado Rockies or the mountains of Fiji to find bottled water. You can stay right here in the confines of Connecticut. It's true. One person knows that all too well. That is our very own Ryan Hanrahan, who is live in Watertown, aptly named, to show us how it's done. Morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Brad. Good morning, Yvonne. Yeah, we are in Watertown at Crystal Rock uh, Water B Bottling Company. And take a look at these bottles all over the place. These are five-gallon jugs of water. These are empty, waiting to be refilled. But they will be refilled this morning. I'm joined now by Chris Mitchell, who works for Crystal Rock. And, and Chris, this is quite the operation you have here. This is a lot of water. Yeah, we'd like to think so. I think we run about 7,000 uh, bottles per day filling these up. And as you can see, they're all over the place. Uh, where does the water come from? It comes from Litchfield, but it's part of the municipal supply in Watertown. But you guys add stuff to it afterwards, right? Yeah, we take the uh, municipal source and then we run it through uh, several different processes here, reverse osmosis, and then you know, we inject uh, minerals and ozone into it to purify it to the next level for our customers to enjoy. Now, one thing we heard a lot about about a year and a half ago was the bottle bill that was making its way through the General Assembly. It was signed into law. How has the bottle bill bill the five cent deposit on water now impacted business here? Well, I think, you know, people are really struggling to kind of figure out the next step. Um, I know that the cost of goods, like everything happening in the economy these days, is going up. So we have to prepay that tax on the front end um, when we get the water. And ultimately, you know, it's, uh, you know, having an impact uh, on the customer base and how we do business, certainly, uh, in terms of us paying, you know, more for water and certainly our customers, which is, you know, what we're trying to, uh, you know, accommodate uh, in all of this. All right. Well, Chris Mitchell, thank you very much from Crystal Rock. And coming up in our next half hour, we are actually going to show you the operation. The plant's going to be working. We're going to be filling up these big jugs of water. And it's a pretty cool process. We'll have that for you coming up in our next half hour. Brad and Yvonne, back to you. This place is hopping this early in the morning, and all of a sudden, I'm very thirsty. Well, still ahead this morning, have you ever thought about how water is bottled? Yeah, Brad, this is a five-gallon jug of water. It's empty right now from Crystal Rock. Coming up in just a few minutes, we will take you on an inside tour of the factory here in Watertown. And we'll also talk about how their business is able to grow, even though the economy continues to struggle. That's just ahead. So are you a tap water or bottled water person? I am completely a bottled water kind of a gal. We buy a ton of it. Really? Yeah. Have you ever thought about how the water gets from where it gets into those huge bottles? No, but something tells me we're going to find out. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Let's go to Ryan Hanrahan live in Watertown to show us how it's done at a local factory. Hey, good morning, Brad. Good morning, Yvonne. These things are so much easier to move around when they're empty. We're at Crystal Rock Bottled Water in Watertown, and I'm joined now by the production manager, Stanley Baranowski. Stanley, thank you for joining us. This is a pretty impressive operation to fill up bottles of water, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yes. Uh, so why don't you take me through where things start? They're starting right behind you. So this is what would happen after a five-gallon jug of water gets picked up uh, by one of your delivery people from a house or from a business, right? Yes, they actually come in uh, empty, obviously. They come in, we have a uh, um, guy putting them on the line. He inspects them first, make sure they're crystal rock bottles and there's nothing wrong with the bottles. Then they come over here, they go to our decapper. And so the decapper will take any caps off that are still left on, right? Yes, yeah, automatically takes the caps off. Uh, does two at a time. After that, it comes down to the second inspector who puts them in the washer. Okay, so now, so the washer will basically disinfect what's left uh, if there's any residue. And you can see this big, I mean, this is a huge washing machine, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I think it has like 72, 75 cups in there. Um, and, and it has like 125 degree temperature water and it cleans and sanitizes the water. All right, and the most important part, of course, is actually filling up the water. And Kevin, if you pan over to the right here, you can see where the water filling machine is. And this water comes from the municipal water supply that's in Litchfield, br brought down into Watertown. And afterwards, the water's disinfected and all sorts of stuff, right? Yeah, it's purified and we add our minerals. 
minerals, and then um, and then it gets filled into the bottle. All right, Stanley Baranowski, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. the time this morning, and we'll have more here from Watertown at Crystal Rock coming up in just a few minutes. But for now, Brad and Yvonne, back over to you. Thanks so much, Ryan. Thanks, Kayla. Water, water everywhere and all of it to drink. Our Ryan Hanrahan is giving us a behind-the-scenes look at how we get our bottled water. You can't even hear me. It's so busy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is difficult to hear, Yvonne. We are live at Crystal Rock Bottled Water in Watertown. Bottled water is a big business, but this local business has actually been able to hire people recently, even with a rather difficult business climate across the state. I'm Ryan Hanrahan. We'll have the story coming up. Well, bottled water has become big business in recent years. You don't have to go to Fiji or even to Maine mm -hmm. to find some high-quality H2O. NBC Connecticut's Ryan Hanrahan is live in Watertown to show us how it's done. Hi there, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, Brad. Yeah, we are at Crystal Rock in Watertown, and this is their bottling plant where these five-gallon jugs of water are going through a process where the caps are taken off, and eventually they're cleaned out and then filled up, and then they head back out on routes and go to businesses and homes where people have uh, these five-gallon jugs of water. Now, I'm joined now by Chris Mitchell, uh, who works at Crystal Rock. And, and Chris, uh, a couple minutes ago, we were mentioning how the, the business climate is tough. Energy costs are high. Um, there's a new bottle tax, a bottle bill that has five cent deposits on bottles of water. But uh, your company still have been able to hire people. Uh, how are you able to buck the trend with a bad economy? Well, sure. You know, we've been around nearly 100 years. We want to ensure that we're going to be around another 100 years. So what we've done really over the last several is start to really diversify our product mix and expand into new service and product offerings with really the intent of supporting our customer base and trying to make it easier on their basic needs and as a result you know we're introducing an office products line of uh, probably 40,000 plus products uh, within the year and as a result of that we have to obviously hire um, you know qualified people to join the workforce and support that. And the, the core of your business though is still water and in the time that we've been here there's already been a thousand of these jugs filled up. And how much water are you able to move out of here in a given day? Yeah, we do roughly about 7,000 bottles, uh, five-gallon bottles per day, um, you know, almost, you know, five days a week. Wow, all right, Chris Mitchell, thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate it. Again, we are at Crystal Rock here in Watertown, and if you're wondering where the water comes from, it's actually from the municipal water supply here in Watertown, but it goes through all sorts of filtration processes, and we'll show you that to you coming up in our 6.30 half hour. Brad, Yvonne, back to you. All right, Ryan, thanks. Eye opening there. Yeah. So we're learning a little bit about how water is bottled this morning. Yes, Ryan Hanrahan, he's working it out, investigating out there this morning. Good morning to you. Drink up. Hey, good, mor good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, bottled water is a really big business, but actually getting water in here is probably a little bit more complex than you think. Coming up in just a few minutes, we'll give you a live tour of Crystal Rock bottled water in aptly named Watertown. <laughs> what about agua? Yeah, you could say that. Or, yeah, he says that. <laughs> Just, but not that much more. We're talking about agua next. Yeah, you know? we are, of course. Forget heading to the tap. Americans spend billions of dollars on bottled agua. That's right. <laughs> some, some of that is made right here in Connecticut. Our Ryan Hanrahan is live in none other than Watertown to show us how it's done. Good morning. <laughs> Well, they were originally in Stamford, Brad, but thankfully they moved to Watertown. I think the name really works. But yeah, we are at Crystal Rock Bottled Water in the town of Watertown, and we're actually where the, the water is bottled right now. And most of what they sell are these five-gallon jugs, though they do sell smaller jugs of water and even some regular bottles of water that you can take on a run or take to the gym. And I'm no joined now by Stanley Baranowski. Stanley, you're the production manager here. And uh, sort of take me through the process. The water comes in through a municipal supply, it's filtered, mi minerals are added, and then it gets to the bottling part. Yes, and then uh, we get it back from the customer, where it's put on a line, and then it gets comes over here and it gets uh, decapped through our decapper. So, so basically what you have is you have homes and businesses buy these five-gallon jugs, and someone drops them off, and when they're done, they get picked back up, and they come to get refilled here in Watertown. Yes, exactly. They come back from the route guys, bring them back empty, then they get decapped, and then they get put into our washer. So this is a decapper right here and what we're doing is you're actually just uh, taking the caps off that are left on some of these things exactly and then the washer is basically it looks like a giant dishwasher doesn't it 
Yeah, it, it cleans the bottle, sanitizes the bottle, and it gets uh, gets it ready to be filled. Okay, so once it goes through the washer, and Kevin, I'm going to have you come over a little bit further, and you can see behind me, behind the washer, is actually where the water is filled up. And how much water are you actually able to put in these things in a given day? Well, we can bottle on average about, about 1,600 bottles an hour. Okay. And, um, and it, go, it goes through the process right there. It's getting filled now, and then, then it comes out and gets capped and then day coated. All right, all right. Stan Baranowski, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And once the water comes out of getting filled up, it goes into these racks. And where does it go? Well, it goes on the Crystal Rock truck, and it gets delivered to homes and businesses across the state. Ryan Hanrahan, NBC Connecticut News. Brad and Yvonne, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Ryan. A lot of fun there. A lot of activity for between 5 and 7 in the morning, that's for sure. Very active over there. This is NBC Connecticut News at 11. And forget heading to the tap. Americans spend billions of dollars on bottled water, and some of it bottled right here in Connecticut. We'll take you inside Crystal Rock. Bottled water is big business, and one Connecticut company has found the path to success is to diversify. NBC Connecticut's Ryan Hanrahan has more from Watertown. While fighting the headwinds of a sluggish economy, the bottled water industry has still been able to grow. Crystal Rock here in Watertown, Connecticut is no exception. 7,000 five-gallon jugs of water are filled every day here at Crystal Rock's bottling facility. Water is purified, jugs are cleaned, filled, then sent out on the road for delivery. The road to prosperity has been bumpy of late, however, with sky-high fuel costs. We're about a 100-year-old company and we want to ensure we're going to be around for another 100 years, so we've had to look at our business and see you know, what our customer needs are and, and the types of products and services we can deliver to them. Those products are things like coffee and office supplies in addition to the big jugs of water. Quality control manager Bill Lang says he knows the key to success. The process that we use improves the water hundredfold. Um, we produce pharmaceutical grade mineralized premium drinking water. Okay? Um, it goes through several pre-treatment processes before it hits our reverse osmosis system. Some water bottlers lobbied unsuccessfully against the expansion of the so-called bottle bill, something they're living with today. It's a deposit that needs to be prepaid up front. Um, so there's definitely, you know, affects cost of goods. Crystal Rock says a quality product and diversification will let them expand their payroll while so many local businesses have been forced to contract. Ryan Hanrahan, NBC Connecticut News. No, Ryan is so inquisitive.